Hey everybody, how's it going? Kelly from MAMJ Let's Play here, and I just wanted to take a second and say Happy New Year. Happy 2016. We've done it. We've seen the 2015 off, and we are starting off in a brand new, fresh start for 2016. I hope you guys had an awesome 2015, and I hope that 2016 will be even bigger and better for you guys, because the future, you know, you can always look back at what you've done and make a positive change for what's coming up. So, in that respect, I wanted to take a second and talk with you guys about what I plan on doing with the channel, what may be changing, what might not be changing, and how you guys can give me feedback on what you like and what you don't like. Because I always try to take a second and get your guys' feedback when I do a vlog. Um, I don't want it to just be me rambling about something and then it's just like, okay, I'm done saying what I want to say and I'm done. It's it, That's not how I want to do the vlogs. I don't think it's ever going to be like that, but who knows, in the future things may change. But anyways... Let me just say that last year was a huge, like, growth for the channel. It was crazy how many people came in at the end of last year. And for some of you who are watching the this video now, looking at my subscriber count, saying, oh, you're only above 500, um, it may not seem that big. But I've had this channel for over two years now, um, and I feel like a lot has changed with the types of games that I play, the types of people who visit the channel, and it's all for the better. It's definitely for the better. So when I first started the channel, way, way back when, like two years ago, it was actually going to be like a martial arts video game channel. And that's actually where the MAMJ Let's Play comes from, because I have a website called Martial Arts Movie Junkie. Not very many people know that. Um, it's not really something you need to worry about, because I don't even know what's going to happen with that site at this point in time because I'm trying to focus all my energy into this channel. That's one of the things I'm thinking about focusing 100% on this year is just doing videos for the channel and just giving more to this channel. But anyways, it started out as a martial arts video game channel and I started playing like Sleeping Dogs and just some random games here and there and I realized that a lot of my friends liked watching me freak out playing scary games. So I started playing some scary stuff like Amnesia, um, Corpse Party, I'm trying to think of what else. I tried Five Nights at Freddy's, you know, things like that. And I tried to kind of like do the same things that like a lot of other YouTubers have done, whether it's the goofy quirky games or the scary games. Um, and you know, it did bring in a few people and obviously some of the horror elements of my channel are still there. I'm still doing the RPG Maker horror games because I like those games like some people might get burned out on them and I'll be honest with you I may not do a brand new RPG maker like horror game every single time but I do continue to plan on keeping that a part of the channel it's a core part of the channel a lot of people come for that but at the same time I know that some people don't like the scary things you know I've seen some comments where they're like oh this game was too scary for me to watch or something like that so I do understand that it kind of like alienates a certain group of people and I want to keep that in mind when I'm doing these videos. I'm trying to find something where a, a larger portion of the uh, viewership can enjoy it. And that's really what I want to do. But anyways, long story short, the channel really took a turn for the better, I think, when I played Danganronpa. And that was a game that I've wanted to play for such a long, long time. Probably since I've had the channel, I've wanted to do a Let's Play of it. I wanted to play it. I wanted to see what it was about. And I wanted to experience it with, you know, a group of people and see what they had to offer when it came to, like, the story and character analysis, things like that. When Danganronpa first came out, you know, it was kind of like a, a, a small thing, but then more and more people got caught wind of it, and it just kept getting bigger and bigger from there. So we've done Danganronpa 1 and 2, we've done Steins Gate, which is another very character-driven story, and honestly, that's really what I enjoy. Like, those are the games that I really like to play. I like to get into a story, get involved, you know, get attached to the characters, and really see what happens throughout the course of the game. Now, that's one of the reasons why I still like the horror games, even though I don't like scary stuff myself. Because um, I do like that horror games have a story. They have character. You have to have something tragic or something crazy happen to these people so that it becomes scary. And that's exactly why I enjoy playing the story-based scary games as opposed to, say, like Five Nights at Freddy's or a game where it just um, just plops you in and you got a bunch of monsters and you have to find the exit and it's all randomized. I don't really like games like that. Five Nights at Freddy's, of course, has its own set of story and everything like that. But for the most part, I don't like the find the exit type games. So I'm really, really happy with the fact that you guys are enjoying the games that I've been playing. 
Now, I'm probably going to be mixing it up a little bit. Um, as you guys saw at the end of the year, I played Eternal Senya, which was one of your guys' suggestions, and I've been getting a ton of other suggestions as well. Please don't take it personally if I don't play one of the games that you guys suggested, but I will be playing some games that you guys have been suggesting. So over the uh, Christmas break, or whatever you want to call it, I did purchase Undertale, and I bought Sound of Drop. Now, what I'm not sure about doing is when I'm going to play them. I'm playing Aviary Attorney right now, and I just started uh, finishing the demo for Amika Apoptosis, which is a fantastic demo. So I'm not 100% sure if I want to drop something like Undertale or Sound of Drop into the second shorter video slot, or if I want to save it for when I finish Aviary Attorney. Now, keep in mind that we still have to play uh, Course Party uh, what was it, Book of Book of Shadows or Blood Drive, something like that, um, the, the newest course party, and then Danganronpa as well, so there's a lot of games that I've come across that are longer than I thought they were going to be, so like, course party is supposed to take about 17 hours, if I do that in 30 minute chunks, that means it's probably going to be like a month of solid course party videos, I don't really know what I'm going to do at this point in time, if you guys are okay with that, then I may do that for a shorter video. Um, I'm thinking about saving Undertale for after Aviary Attorney. And the only reason why I'm thinking about that is because I don't want to drag that series out. I'm thinking about doing like hour long episodes and then you guys can tell me, hey, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this right, try this, or you know, hey, did you know about this about this character? Things like that. I think it would be a lot better in a longer chunk than say 30 minute episodes. So that's my plan right now. Um, I'm also hoping to do more videos like what you're seeing right here, the vlogs. And they won't necessarily be just me talking about the channel. Um, I do want to do like, um, not reaction videos, but like my thoughts on say like the Steins Gate anime in the movie after I finish watching it. Or um, Danganronpa, my favorite character, things like that. Things that you guys have been asking about. I definitely want to do videos like that. So you'll probably see some of those pop in from time to time. Um, I think it'll give us more talking points. Uh, for the channel and we can actually, you know, discuss things. But anyways, that's kind of where I'm going with the channel. So like I said, not a huge change. Um, don't freak out if you don't see any indie horror RPG maker games. It may just be that I couldn't find anything that really caught my eye because I don't want to just throw out a game and then just be like, oh, well, it's horror. So, you know, they're going to like it. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to find games that like are actually good and worth your time. And if they're not worth it, then I'm probably not going to put it up unless I did like an episode and it's a multi-part thing and we don't know what's going to happen until the end, which actually brings me to my next point. Um, we just recently finished Blind Spot. You guys may remember that. And the ending was absolutely bonkers. It was crazy. But I wanted to take it, take a moment and praise you guys for how you reacted to it and how you handled it. So I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but the creator of the game actually went to our our channel and commented on that video. Apparently, they were watching you know me play through the game and saw my reaction and read everybody else's reaction, and it gave them an accurate picture of how we thought the game was, what we liked, what we didn't like, and things like that. And what I'm really, really proud of is the fact that nobody was really ha hateful in the comments. It was more disappointed, you know? It's like we knew something better could have happened, but it didn't. And we're like, oh, like, I wish it was going to be longer, or I wish this would have happened, or like, I hope they do this, this, or, you know, I hope a sequel comes, something like that. And I think that's the best way to handle um, negativity because, like, it gives the creator a reason to look at it and say, okay, they didn't absolutely hate it. They just didn't like how this happened or how this occurred. And as a creator, that's probably the best feedback you can get from something like that. You know, if somebody just writes, oh, this is crap, it's stupid. That doesn't give them anything to go off of. So thank you guys. Like I could only do so much. That was you guys who actually went into the comments and wrote your thoughts about what you thought about the game. And I really think you guys are a positive impact and helped the game creator take a step back and look and see what people liked about the game, what they didn't like about it and how they can make it better. Now, whether or not they're going to quote unquote fix blind spot, or if they're going to do a new project entirely, 
I'm not 100% sure, but that's up to them and they have the motivation to do it. They're not going to sit there sad and upset that nobody liked or appreciated what they did and they have the driving force to do something new and different. So you guys are awesome. That's, that's really what I want to say. Thank you guys for being such a positive force and I hope that we can continue to do that in 2016. I have no idea what the future holds, but you guys are what make the channel unique. I mean, I make the videos and I play the games, but if you guys were just angry and, you know, hateful toward each other, it would be a lot harder to enjoy the channel because I'd have to sit there and be like, oh, what do I need to do about this? Or this person's, you know, fighting with this person. And I don't have to do that. So thank you guys so much for giving each other the love that, you know, every person deserves. It's really amazing. And I'm just so proud that our channel is something that people can go to to feel better about what they've done or what they're doing or give them a boost of confidence that says, hey, you know what? I can do this. And I really hope that you guys face 2016 with the same attitude. You guys can set forth and do whatever you want to do. It may seem crazy. It may seem hard. But I promise you, as long as you continue to push, you will see results. And it may not be the results that you think you wanted to see when you first started, like my channel when I did the martial arts games. But it's okay. It's okay to just take a step back and say, you know what, this isn't working for me. What do I need to do differently? Or you know what you're going to do and you're just going to charge full speed at it and hopefully it works out for the best. But if it doesn't, don't get depressed. Don't get disappointed. It's a brand new year. Start with a clean slate and just tackle 2016 with all the passion you possibly can. Anyways, I feel like I'm getting rambly and very preachy, but I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Thank you guys for an awesome 2015. Look forward to an even bigger and better 2016. I know I'm looking forward to it, but always thank you guys so much for your support for the channel. Um, just, just thank you. That's all I can really say. Uh, if you guys want to reach out to me and you're not able to on the YouTube side of things, I don't want to sound like I'm plugging my Facebook or my Twitter, but those two places are probably the best ways to get a hold of me. And it's also the best way to know if something's going wrong with my videos, because with the Steins Gate one, the finale, oh my God, that was awful. Like it took like a day. I want to say I was going to, I was going to say it took several hours, but I think it took a whole day to get the video actually uploaded so that you guys could see it. And then another like half a day for it to be in high def. So things like that, I will be letting you guys know on Facebook and Twitter. So if you, if you haven't followed me and you want to know what's going on, those are the two best places to look. Otherwise comment in any of my videos. And I'm still doing my best to respond as quickly as I can. Um, otherwise you can message me on YouTube or send me a message on Twitter or Facebook as well. Okay. I'm done. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up in case something crazy happens. That's how you can reach me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. And I'm sure you guys read the title, but we did it. We hit 500 subscribers and I am absolutely over the moon. It is so cool that 500 people have decided to follow the channel. Uh, I think it's a huge milestone. Like I was really hoping that I would be able to hit 500 subscribers by Christmas. That was like my own little wish and you guys completely granted it. Thank you so much. Um, I really don't know what I can say besides thank you. Um, this channel is not a very typical YouTube channel and a lot of you guys who have come across it